For some time I've been wanting to make a portable still or a uh, desalinator type still for uh, distilling pure water from minerals and stuff and salts. Um, and I wanted to make one portable so I could take it with me or use it here at home. And so I thought I'd attempt it on a smaller container here that's all stainless steel. Um, I think it's 17 ounces. And uh, I purchased that on Amazon. So you can find that there. And then at the hardware store, I picked up some quarter inch copper tubing that you'd use for your uh, hooking up your ice maker to your refrigerator. And then a little quarter inch uh, 90 degree angle compression fitting for copper pipe. So we'll get started here and I'm going to start assembling. I um, have to drill, drill a few things and cut some pipe and stuff like that. So I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, well, I have a piece of pipe going through the top of the bottle. And I tried soldering it. So we'll see here shortly in a little while if, uh, if it actually worked or not. Stuff. It wasn't perfect. It should have been better, but it, it'll do, I think. But uh, anyways, we'll... Uh, Get that right angle on there and I'll be right back to show you how it looks. So here it is after I've got it soldered. I even soldered up here and uh, we'll give it a try and see if it works. Hopefully it will. But just showing you that. Next thing I did is Start twisting the copper coil around this. That'll keep it compact around this. And if I throw it in a backpack or something, or just storing it, it'll be all comp compact. So just uh, showing that. And I've done it about five times, I think, here. So I'm going to uh, bend this and cut it. And I'll show you that once I get all that done. So, just wanted to show you that. And it, of course, it comes out, but it'll go around the, go around the bottle. I was just going to show you this too. This is just a small pipe cutter that'll cut pipe anywhere from 1 8th, I think it is, up to 7 8 It's a pretty small one, but it'll cut small stuff, mostly half inch and quarters and it's great for tight spaces so if you want to if you're in a bit of a corner or the bottom of a the floor and the wall up against the floor and the wall you can actually use this to, to cut a lot of copper pipe and then I also use this as a uh, pipe bender so you can get these uh, this is made in the USA had this a long time but you I think you can get these the hardware store but it's just a simple but pipe uh, copper pipe cutter or a uh, bender so you can uh, one of these if you want just wanted to show you that so here it is now it would be uh, well, it's not in use but compact enough to keep together in a small pack or something like that you could uh, Put it like this and then uh, to set it up it will set up something like that so 
All right, and you can even spread the pipe, the copper pipe out for more cooling. Um, I could do that. So that could be spread out even further. I'm going to need that part because that's just going to be cooling it there. But I wanted to show you that. So we'll see if I can't uh, get a fire going and see if we can try it out. All right, stay tuned. Heating it up there. And as you can see, it's it's now dripping. Got a little leak at the top elbow, but I can fix that. I just wanted to show you can make distilled water camping or at home. I'm just using some old pieces of wood chips and stuff like that, scrap wood. Once it starts turning to steam, I am losing some of that on the steam, but you can also cool the coil by uh, putting the coil in water. And you can also put this in water and that'll stop the steam from escaping. You can see that minimizes the steam from escaping.
Anyways, just wanted to show you this. You too can do this. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. And go out and make something. And have fun. Thanks. Thanks for watching.